Check out this rad new logo merch. By buying this amazing shirt and pin badge, you help us keep the lights on and take care of them. Um... Take care of them. Seriously, where is that guy? I'm getting worried. Have you seen this spider? Do your civic duty and help us find our missing friend, Dead Island 2 the Spider, by wearing this brand new shirt and reporting any sightings to the hotline on screen. Please seek the bill payers' permission. Oh, I went to school with bill payers. Oh, not this silly joke again. Sally joke? Yeah, she was there as well. It's not even a proper surname. Robert's surname? I went to school with him. No, you didn't! <laughs> yes, yes, we, we did. did. And now you can let everyone know who you went to school with by purchasing this fantastic new Triple Jump Towers Leavers hoodie, featuring a full list of your old classmates. But what's that? You miss those old school friends, do you? Hmm? Lost touch with Gymnasium and Superb, eh? Well, worry not, because who needs mates like them when you can buy yourself your very own limited edition Billy Ray Walrus plushie to keep you warm on those long, dark winter nights? Uh, it's spring? <laughs> uh, the point is, he's lovely and there are limited numbers, so don't hesitate to buy yours today! Just head to triplejumpshop.com right now to get your hands on all of this amazing new merch, including the limited edition Billy Ray Walrus plushie. Are we live now? I don't even know anymore. I am so goddamn sick of technical difficulties. But we've made it. We are gonna have a weekend. I can't not let you guys have a weekend. Like twice. Not not two weeks running. We're not having that. Oh, oh wow, getting sail on the seven seas with best friend Jackie. I know, I I thought I'd keep that in there just yeah. cause. Um, James Jenkins. Yeah. Welcome back, Master of the Weekend. All going How very splendidly, you? isn't it? How was your day? Oh, it's, it's been fun. Got to get down on Fridays. Yeah. Hope you are having an amazing day. We'll we'll make it an amazing day from now on because yeah, fortunately I I can't really you know uh, set it up as a nice surprise because you can all read, you've all seen it. That's right. We are. I mean, I, I saw in the chat. I saw some calls for Sid Meier's Civilization. I thought, yeah, Sid Meier's. We should do Sid Meier's Pirates because it's like the best pirate game ever. And also it kind of sticks to, uh, to Skull and Bones. Sid Meier's Cyberpunk when? We can only dream. We can only live in hope, honestly, Dead I Minis. Ah, but anyway, uh, first of all, apologies to anybody who was here on time. Um, we sort of changed it because, uh, yeah, if you hadn't seen the update, Cyberpunk decided to be a real, real punk, a real punk piece of work, um, and decided to like start patching. And from what I can gather, it decided to download the whole flipping game again because it was taking so long. I don't know what's going on there, and I and I think it sort of reset itself again. So Steam's having a moment. Uh, God knows what's happening there, uh, but yeah, I can only apologise for the, the hour-long delay, but we are going to do something today, um, and yeah, I hope you're all doing well, thank you very much for sticking around, hello there, Cooly Wooly, Trowling Badger, Merry Birth, Mrs. Jenikin, oh, hello, Plushy, ja plushy Lads, Jenikin, is it your, f oh, it's your birthday today, Jesus, happy birthday, Plushy Labs. Amazing. Have you have you made yourself like a special birthday plushie to celebrate? I mean, if anything, you should you should not of all days you should not be working today because it is the day of your birth. So yeah, happy birthday. Um, hello, Lord Bravich, hello, did I? Hello, Silog, Stephen. Thank you very much for the bits, by the way, Stephen. Much appreciated. Good lord, it's been a it's been an adventure. It's been an adventure, but we're gonna have another adventure on the high seas pretty soon. Uh, you bought yourself a Pokemon one, hey, that's pretty sick. Oh, amazing work. 
Deary me. So like last week it was me having the plague, uh, which I'm still, you know, it's still lingering, still lingering, not quite gotten over it yet, but um, mostly, you know, I'm not even, like five percent okay cyberpunk man is it gonna i mean we've already got another game running now so maybe we'll try that in a little bit but hey um the high for 20 c's yeah down straight uh yes very good question trial badger which pokemon also thank you trial badger for uh for for pinning the comments and thank you or mods who may have pinned other comments uh Psylog, i'm so sorry i'm so sorry We've, we've had a lot to deal with here. It came in just at the intro. Uh, I didn't forget about it. I, was, I promised I was going to go back to it. Oh, uh, my goodness. There you are. Hey, but thank you very much, Silog, for subscribing for 38 months. Good Lord. And Silog says, Sid Meier's Jenkins. I, I wish I was sponsored by Sid Meier's. Yeah, it's either that or uh, sponsored by Microsoft and uh, you know Xbox Game Pass. But that's the wrong Sid Meier's franchise. We're not, we're not going back to that. Forget about Civ, it's gone. Maybe. I mean, you never know. You never count anything out. But we've got pirates right now. And are we Are we ready? Are we ready? Oh, you got my boss, Stiff the Doggo. Oh, that's a new one. I'm an old man. I don't know these newfangled ones. I know more of the, the you know, uh, the pals, the, the budget ones. The, we got Pokemon from Wish. Uh, you mean you don't want to sell the Seven Seas of Skull and Bones? Probably not, probably not. Um, forget about Civ, never! I mean, I was playing Civ last night, I'm not gonna lie. I do enjoy Civ, I can never forget about Civ, really. Ah, oh, dearie me, Sid Vicious instead. Oh, another subscription from Born Too Slow, subscriber Prime, thank you so much, Born Too Slow. Subscribe for 14 months now, Grog Gang! Grog Gang, they say. Oh, we will, we will be part of the Grog Gang very soon. But yes, thank you very much, Born Too So, and thank you again, Psylog, for subscribing as well. You're all proper legends, legends of the high seas. Um, after 250, it might as well be Digimon, as far as I know. Exactly, exactly. I'm also old, but also a Pokemon chill. Hey, that's fine. Then. That's totally fine. Hey there, Hattrick Swayze, playing a good pirate game in the stream, I see. You damn straight, I'm playing the best pirate game. Yeah, I said it. You're still not beating it. I mean, all right, Black Flag comes close. Um, and then, you know, on a slightly different kind of game, you've got uh, you got Monkey Island, obviously. But, you know, it's, it's not your sort of traditional pirating action, is it? Pirates of the Caribbean Online, well, now we're to... Oh, my God, I didn't know that existed. All right, well... We may need to rethink the uh, the ranking, the order there. Um, the best agreed. Damn straight. Everything after Trubbish was too much. <laughs> Little Trubbish, what do you mean? I thought Trubbish was your favourite. What are you talking about, mate? Uh, anyway, should we should we get cracking? Because we've already wasted so much bloody time. I see. The thing is, right? Steam is now saying that uh, Cyberpunk is not downloading. Which makes me think maybe we could get away with playing it, but it doesn't flip in matter because. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This game is so old, it's in 4 free. But it's also like stretched to go full screen on my monitor. A little bit confusing. Uh, did you buy the game? Did you just download it from the internet like a real pirate? I would never dream of that. Well, I'll tell you what, if, if I'd have known this would happen, I'd bring my own copy, well, <laughs> to, to be fair. Yeah, so I have my own copy from like back in the day, it was like 2003 or 2004 when this, this version of the game came out. It's like an update of a very, very old game. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I've got an actual boxed physical copy, would you believe, for PC and everything. Like, they got rid of those way before their sort of, you know, their uh, digitising console games now. Um, I've got this game through piracy. You naughty, Boris, I look naughty. Hmm. Does it deserve to be played after all the grief it's given you? Yes, I would punk, yeah. Uh, good point, good point. Well, we'll get some jackanisms in as well, Steve, don't worry. Um, well, I mean... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's technically like a, yeah, it's a remake. Oh, I'll class it as a remake because it's long enough uh, into it. But, um, yeah, I, 
luckily did just see it on sale on Steam for like a quid. So I was like, you know what? Fine, fine, I'll do it because you never know when an emergency is going to happen and you're going to need some Sid Meier's Pirates like today. Genius, aren't we? Um, right then, do you want to see all the, all the beautiful system options? That's as high as we can get the video resolution. <laughs> Isn't that great? So it's like, it's a remake, but them re-releasing this is strictly like no extra frills. Um, any extra frills because you've got everything already, ain't ya? Let's go. Begun with a celebration. I don't think there's voice acting in this, which is pretty funny. Apart from like, you know, Sims-esque. Indebted for years to the Marquis de la Montalban. The family's prosperity was soon to be restored. Yeah, we're great. Woo! Their fleet was due to arrive on the morrow, carrying both their hopes and their salvation. <coughs> but the celebration was befouled by an unwelcome guest. Oi. <laughs> it's this dick. The Marquis himself arrived bearing ill tidings. The fleet had been lost, and the debt had come due. Flip. The family's pros property was seized and they were pressed into bondage. Oi, oi. Um, it was a different time. But one of them would not be a slave. Get out of here, Marky, you do dickhole. Yeah, look at it. It's such a bad guy look, isn't it? And so it was that brave young S Sion hmm, uh, escaped his family's fate, swearing to save them, and one day avenged the Marquis's foul deed. The Marquis. Ten years later. Such a beautiful family, yeah. Right, so I discovered this yesterday. Oh, sorry. Now grown to his full measure, uh, the young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. Hello. I am a handsome, dashing lad. Sid Meier's tech support. <laughs> That's what we need. Oh, man. Just bringing up all kinds of nostalgia right now. It's so good. You be looking for a passage to the Americas. Oh, my name. Um, Guy Incognito. <laughs> hey, Ezio. Sorry, so, uh, right, 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 what, what we got, what we got, what we got? You invested your one Facebook dollar into this game. Damn straight I did, Lord Bravich. Uh, if I made this game today, it called Repirate or something? Yeah, probably. <laughs> some, some dumb name. Um, boring later. So I discovered this yesterday, nobody was interested, but you're as big a nerd as I am, James. So, if you get in front of the steam train in Forza Horizon 4, it'll push you at 88 miles per hour. I thought that was neat. No DeLoreans in the game, sadly. How dare... How dare they not be interested in that? That is a solid 5 out of 10 interest rate. I don't know why I'm talking about interest rates now. We've gone to the bank. Um, <laughs> no, that's, that, is, that is quite a, a neat little thing. But why on earth do they not have DeLoreans in the game? I think is the bigger problem. Um, Sid Meier's Poirot. Ooh, Sims Medieval. No, no, I've never played that song. That's crazy. Um, Jamie Lannister, yeah, Dan Druff, I mean, yeah, yeah. Inigo Montoya, Buck Ania. Keep keep coming with the name suggestions, actually, let's see. Is that what interest rate means? They should teach that in school. They should. I mean, yeah, you could, you could just turn around and be like, like, the banks are, are just getting more and more interested in what we're doing. That's why the interest rates are going up, you see. Um, that's, that's what it's all about. So, um, Jai Incog Nito, maybe? Boatman? Hey, Batman fan Drew, how's it going? Um, is the volume a little bit too loud? I might change that. Uh, I think it's slightly too loud right now. Uh, Jamie Lannister, Inigo Montoya, Mancomb Seat Good. In honor of. We're, we're going with that. Nice work, Crown Roger. We're, we're pie rads. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna go with, with that one because that's a um, guy brush fruit with sort of nod, isn't it? I'm super uncreative. No, it's not true for him. That is very good. Um, yeah, how we spell this man? Come. Super good. There we go. Bam! We've done it. 
There will be French, Spanish, Dutch and English ships looking for able-bodied lads as yourself. I... Okay, so the Spanish are always way OP in this game, okay? Um, oh, my character's called John. And no, I, I appreciate someone with a with solid name and skin. Uh, and mate, Bob, he always... Um, like, whenever there's something like... Uh, so, art, for example. If you've got a name that's uh, like a bunch of creatures or what have you. Um, he always goes with, like, you know, classic... Uh, it's regular, regular dudes' names or regular people's names. Rebel against England? Oh, we're, we're absolutely not going with the English. I might go with the Dutch, you know? Um, they're, they're the underdogs, they're definitely the underdogs. The Spanish are OP, and uh, they need taken down a peg or two. The French, I mean, French. In fact, I, we're not doing French, because um, in honour of Lord Brotovich, they got Lord Brotovich killed. It's definitely the French. No uh, doubt. The English, pff, whatever, we're going with Dutch. Let's go. Go ahead, Eagles, as well. Let's go. Um... Where's the Irish crew? That's the fun boat, exactly. The crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. The captain drove the ship and her crew to breaking. Point. I'd, I suppose it was. Oi! <laughs> you what, mate? <laughs> it's so good. Oi! That's my medallion. I'll knock your block off. Oh, you hard my pretty face. Push beyond all decency, the crew mutinies! I just realised all those countries colonised my country. No, Zylog! Dutch Vandalin, hell yeah. I too am an air disease enjoy it. Nice, hat tricks, easy. Nice. I just figured out how to use this cannon! Way! Kinda screwed over my own ship there. Don't know how we got up here, though. Right, just you wait, just you wait for the most action y action hero thing of all. Boom! We did it. We did it. <laughs> Off your pop, mate. Yeah, see you later, pal. I just went to the Carabao Cup final on Sunday, so football! Hey! What a what a, what a terrible shame that result was, eh? No, to be fair, uh is it, is it yourself as a Liverpool fan, Gully Woolly? I mean I, I would imagine, you know, a strong possibility. <laughs> Having just been there, but if if so, congrats. Especially, you know, um, finally proving Alan Hansen wrong, right? It, like, oh, he can't win anything with kids. Ha! And I see one of those happy. <laughs> yeah. It's it's definitely a hilarious way to win. And to be fair, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. We're going straight into Krakow. Krakow? Krakow? Grace Krasial. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm an ignorant Englishman. More injuries though, eh? Some cheer up United fans. <laughs> yeah, something. Yeah. We need cheering up after, uh, you know, a pff, just uh, a <laughs> drubbing against Fulham and then just about getting through the FA Cup. They already have pho photography technology. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, so what we can do, this is like the, the course of. Wedding tar! Mr. Man can seep good, please come in. Maybe it's no longer a war with the evil Spanish. Who isn't? Am I right? Um, hey! I just realised something. We didn't get to pick what, like, era or what stats or anything like that. It doesn't matter. Because maybe it's you do your first game and then you go on from there, but whatever. Uh, maybe it's just know that we're at war with the evil Spanish. Please offer a letter of Mark. Or Marky. Mark. Mark. Mm, I don't know. Uh, plunder and sink. So basically, I mean, this was like fairly accurate to the time, as far as I'm aware. Uh, you know, you'd, you'd have privateers. Just uh, Mark Key. Oh, went to school for Mark A. Eh? Oh, <laughs> pronounced like Mark. Yeah, I thought it was okay. Um, LFC getting Watara Endo was huge. Yeah, he looked good. He looked very good. Um, so yeah, you'd you'd basically have like essentially pirates, but they were privateers because they were under freelance contracts from one country to beat up the other country's ships. So, nearest enemy city. We can go and mess them up, play a little mini game of Civ. Uh, and that's, that's kind of...
kind of what this game is, is like the sailing is the main stuff, the sailing and ship combat. There's a lot of other like little mini games, but it's so much bigger than just the, some of the parts there. Um, in fact, a juicy Spanish bark was seen this morning. They did it that direction. Ooh. When in Tag. <coughs> when in Tag. Mm -hmm. When in Ten Hag. <laughs> Not sure about that, actually. Dance minigame is silly. I'm, I think you mean amazing and graceful. Right, there you go. That's that's one goal for the stream. We need to um, we need to woo the governor's daughter. Ho 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 ho! Oh my! Oh goodness me! Uh, sorry, let me just switch off the phone there. <coughs> oh, apologies. <coughs> now, this is also very important when you're visiting towns. We can speak to a whole bunch of people. How much money do we have again? Um, Right, so we can recruit some people. 29 for our current crew of 40. Welcome aboard, mates. Let's go. They're, they're just up for it. They don't care. Yeah. Mm. Don Fernando has over a thousand in gold. Interesting. I wonder how um, difficult this game will be, considering it's just chucked us in without offering like difficulty things. So it might be super easy, to be fair. Yeah. Part of the secret map. Location of the pirate steed, bonnet's Barrett treasure for 200. Sure, why not? Oh my god, it's not just a pirate, it's the whole bloody thing. Yeah, it's definitely on easy mode, isn't it? Um, wicked. Alright, we've got a lot of things that we can do, so it's very much a sandbox sort of thing. Uh, we haven't. Have you been introduced to the governor of Margarita's daughter? They say she's a real beauty. There's different tiers of this, by the way. They'll say something like this, say she's like, you know, um, magnificent, or you know, they sh they say she's kinda pretty, or whatever. And it's, um, oh, yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, everyone's beautiful in, in different ways. But, um, this is very much uh, gamifying that whole thing. Right, how much money we got? We got 400 gold. We've got enough food for three months, so... Let's... We will probably pick up more, to be fair. Luxuries. You can buy and sell at different sort of uh, prices depending on different ports. So, again, that whole thing of Skull and Bones doing it, it's like, mate, 20 years ago we had this. In fact, 30 plus years ago. If only recruiting people in D&D &D RPGs is as easy as that. I, I don't know. If you're talking about like a video game RPG, then pretty easy to be fair. We got the revenge, it's only a wee little sloop. Chain shot, grape shot, we don't have enough money to upgrade the bronze cannon. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That doesn't matter. Have you heard of that Japanese anime girl? She makes weebs go wooga. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the uh, the DLC when you sail off to Japan, sail to the Far East. When they say she's handsome, that's when you know they're not being particularly complimentary. Oh my god! <laughs> People have seen our flag memes, death, wonderful queer pirate show. But I've heard of this. I've heard of this. It's really good, apparently. Yeah, yeah, I want to check it out at one point. Um, and also, yeah, so it will have, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it will have, hang on, full sales, real sales, just slow down. And also just, just, you know, just dip the blood music a little bit. Just, just dip everything a little bit, actually. Obviously sound effects, dance music, all the way up, but yeah. Bam, bam. Um, okay. Obviously, just, just save the game there. Now. <coughs> you started your career in 1660, Buccaneer Heroes, right. Apprentice Captain with a skill at fencing. So it just gave us all the default things, which is kind of lame. I kind of wanted to um, customize a character a bit, which you can do. Uh, your crew of 69 is content. So it's basically a sort of, you, you will age and slowly get in worse health. Uh, your crew gets more and more mad the longer they're, they're going until you go to a port and divvy up all the, the riches that you've gotten. So it's kind of like this whole um, thing of like, I don't want to say like a sort of roguelike, but it's that sort of element of, all right, I'm doing a run here that will last like however long. And then you go again and, you know, you, you start as 18 again and do the whole shibing, shibinga bango. Very good, it's on iPlayer. Sick. 
uh, menu simulator. <laughs> I mean, it's not, because what we could do, look, these are Spanish. Let's attack, oh, six guns. Oh, I like those odds. And by the way, I'm using, uh, uh oh, using uh, <laughs> the bloody numpad. Oh, 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 come on, come on, turn, turn. Oh, that's, yeah, I forgot you can change the view there, that's pretty cool. Oh, please, that's pitiful, sir. Yeah, grape shot, chain shot. We... Okay, so we, we have everything. Grape shot will decimate their, um, their crew, making it a lot easier to board. Chain shot will ruin their sails. And if you absolutely obliterate them, they'll just do that. Look, as the ship approaches, the enemy strikes the colors. I hope it's not too difficult. You'll get older and get slowly worse health. What mood? <laughs> we play video games this game. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know. <coughs> what we can do that is amazing is we can just take every ship. But like sometimes you get to a point when you don't want to and you'll just sink her. But, you know, if you want to just make the most of everything, you take them all. You get yourself a fleet of, I think, a maximum of eight ships. Go to port. Sell that shit. Decimate crews. James, you're killing people. What what are you talking about? No, we're just we're just, you know, thinning out the population. Population control, you see. The population of a certain ship. And also they're not they're not dead, they just jump overboard and then, you know, go unconscious. It's Pokemon logic or something, I don't know. Alright, so we have this. That's a bark, that's a sloop. Now, there are a lot of different ship types in this game. I can't remember exactly which one's better than, than what, than others, but it's probably worth having this one as well. So let's let's do that. And we could just rock around with a, um, oh, having said that, having said that, it doesn't have chain shot on grape shot, so maybe not. They faint for the rest of time, exactly. Perfectly normal behaviour. Perfectly normal behaviour. Oh no, we missed 420. Well, okay, we'll get 520. It's fine. Uh, that's the rule, isn't it? That's the rule. So we... I don't want to upgrade this one too much, if I'm honest. So we'll sell that. That's fine. Oh, no, no, no. We need to, we need to get rid of the cargo first. All right, merchant. 10 tons of spice. 24 gold apiece. Look at that, we're rich. We're rich already. Oh, yes. Yes. So much gold. Beautiful. Okay. we got quite a lot of food now. Uh, what space in hold is 70 tons? E okay. Okay. Um, what's the maximum amount of guns we can do on this one? I think there's a maximum. Don't forget. Uh, check status. Uh, let's see... Okay, you get a maximum amount of crew. I swear there was a thing. Uh, we can also rename this, by the way. Um, uh, uh, cyber uh, schmuck. No. Well, so I, I want to. I want to basically have a name that this is cyberpunk. Um, Titanic beta version. We're rich. Well, let's retire and play video games for the rest of our life. Hell yeah, Cyber Jump. Thank you. Somebody's brain's working. Thank you very much. Cooly Wooly. An excellent pun name. Yeah, Cyber Junk. Lol. Got him. Wow. <coughs> Good lord. Can we get. No. So there is actually, you know, a uh, passing of time. You've got to wait a certain amount of time for more people to show up at the tavern of the same place. Um. As you sink, okay, so we might get an upgrade from this guy, you know, because as you do more things to help, uh, you know, uh, certain nations, so example, uh, we took a, the evil Spanish ship. Soon you will be promoted to captain. Wicked. I can't remember what that does, but it's good. Junk is an actual ship type. Oh, really? Huh? <laughs> but it isn't a junk, it's a sloop. <laughs> Well, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Boat is boat. I like Titanic beta version as well. That's good. Uh, uh, Titanish. 
Now we want to consult the ship price based on whole 70 tons. Okay, we can just sell that. Bam! Cyber chunk sails away! Uh, how do we check out... Oh, hello. Oh no, what did we do? What did we do? We just pressed A. I went to WASD. I think I quick loaded. Oh dear. Oh dear. Great, so we got to do all that again. Oh my god. <laughs> god sake. Ah! Right, top tip, do not press A if you are downloading this game and playing it. I mean, it's like a quid or something. So it's well worth doing. However... Way, hey, up she rises. Way, hey, up she rises. If we repair and then sell, do we get more money? Right, 195. 200, 395, 375. No, there's no point doing that. Okay. It's the same, same regardless. Uh, no, 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 no. Talk to Governor. Governor, Governor, thanks, Governor. Alright, cool. Save. Bam. Bam. Uh, and then, how do we change our, like, um, obviously we want to be Dutch. Um, oh. Um, sure, that looks fancy. Let's do it. Fleet status. Yes, you've got a lot of personal stats. You can defeat all the legendary pirates. You've got Steve Bonnet all the way up to um, uh, uh, Blackbeard. Uh, I think, actually. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe Edward Teach isn't in there. What's the point of being a pirate if you have to pay for things? Well, yeah. <laughs> James, no sea shanties, 10 out of 10. No, oh, come on. It needs more sea shanties. Right. We've got a treasure map there. We've got the world map. That's what we're looking for. Look at this. We could we could have landed up in... My God, have I really got to like... Oh, my God. So, yeah, that's the, that's, that's, the, that's the map. We can't zoom out any further. We can go all the way over here if we want to. It's actually way bigger than you, than you first realise. And... You got some like landlocked cities that are like you've literally got to march your guys on land in order to get there. It's crazy. Search for Edward Kenway. Good do. Good do. Look at Spain just dominated all this. But we started off in a really good spot there. And also, Crachow has uh, got a lot of money there. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. Captured the Spanish Bark. It also tracks like what you've done as well. It tracks the top 10 pirates. Here we go. Blackbeard is in there. Henry Morgan's ahead of Blackbeard. Well, fair play. Uh, <coughs> as far as I'm aware, all of these are real historical pirates, including Mancombe Mancom Seepgood. It's true. Right, there we go. Let's pirate a trade galleon, huh? Do you reckon we could take these guys on? It's a big ship, but actually not that big a ship. We've only got ten guns. Captain Morgan, <laughs> his rum is okay, I guess. Hey, actually, yeah. And made a connection. It's been, um... Okay. Right, chain shot. Boom. Oh, you guys suck. Oh, we, we, we sucked as well there. So you've got you've to gotta actually aim it. Kinda. Alright, we've got that. No. No, please. Please, no. Please, stop. Um... Ow. Oh, we're getting a bit battered here. Right, so the more crew you eliminate from their ship, uh, the longer it takes for their, their guns to be reloaded. Honestly, it's it's quite a simple sort of setup. There aren't a lot of moving parts here, but it's still way deeper than anything I saw in Skull and Bones. It was a joke. So, oh, here we go! Yeah, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Oh, yeah. Now this, this is fun. Whee! Ha, ha, ha. Oh no! Ouch! Ha. So, as you can see there, you gotta you gotta hit the right things. And there is um, there are different types of swords you can get as well. I think only three different types. <coughs> but you can also just kind of cheese it. In that, um, I think like the rapiers, um, 
super quick. You fight like a milk cow. See, we can just keep on clashing there. Ugh. And way unlucky, mate. Ho, 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 ho. Huzzah! Dairy farmer. <laughs> How convenient. <laughs> we don't have 69 crew. Panic! I remember a PS1 game a bit like this. Ah, maybe it was. Maybe it was a port of this. Right, we've got a lot of goods. A lot of guns, a lot of goods, a lot of food. Jobs are good. This trade galleon will sell for a lot. Sail damage is a bit buggered. News your victory spreads quickly. Ooh. English governor of Nevis may be inclined to give you a promotion. <coughs> so everybody loves us, basically. Because we um, kick the Spaniards' ass. Alright, let's go to a pirate haven. I can't remember what happens if you talk to the captain here. My men have gambled away their last gold doubloons. Time to plunder the... Oh, you can actually suggest places to go. Um, unfortunately, it needs a little bit of, like, player knowledge as to which one is which, you know. A port. Hey, hey. <laughs> you fight like a lady. Um, the famous uh, Monkey Island crew there. <laughs> we'll, we'll send them over to Spain. Go on, mess up Spain. And the coolest thing about this is, right, when we leave port, we will see them... Um, you, we will see them sail off. Everybody, do you hear me? All you people love this game. Visit the tavern. Get some more people. Lovely. Oh, 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 oh. The skilled cook on board the Magdalena. The Dutch pinnace down for Puerto Cabello. Cabello. Well, we can't attack the French sounding one. We could do that. The thing is, I don't want to attack the Dutch because we're kind of buddies. But we do need, you know, the. You see what I mean? Like, you, you can see what's happening here. There's a lot more, like, systems stacking up on top of each other. So, like, along with getting better ships, you get better crewmates. Um, you get better items to help you, you know, fight, you can get pistols, you can get armor, you can get, uh, <coughs> stuff like that, um, different sorts of stuff. So look, so this, for example, the mysterious traveler offers to sell you a ruby ring. Help us win the heart of the governor's daughter, you say? Take my money, good sir. Margarita's daughter, real beauty, oh aye. Ah, so we need to go to Margaritaville. Two gold for... F mm, we could we get that price now, I think. I think we can. Right, we'll repair our ship and... Maybe... Maybe... Maybe get that? Screw it, why not? <coughs> we need to dispose of... Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to repair that for now so it... Um, sales quicker with us. Rip Jimmy Buffett. I know, I know. It was, it was quite recent, wasn't it? Sad times. Oh, waste the way in Margaritaville. Invasion force! No, they took Caracio! Krakow! No! These bastards will pay! So these pirate raiders are going over here. Uh, sorry, wait. You're, you're the Queen Anne's Revenge? I'm sorry. You're the Queen Anne's Revenge? As in Blackbeard's ship. Have we just suddenly, like, randomly come across Blackbeard right now? Because you will, like, hear rumours of where they are, and they will be persistent in the game world somewhere. So, you know, it, this game simulates a whole bloody, like, pirate in life going on. It's bloody amazing. Bloody amazing. <coughs> Do it, says Mencius the Wise. If we take Queen Anne's Revenge, and take that ship as our own. I mean, what a what a what a coup that would be! Oh yeah, you want to go, pal? Uh oh, oh, we gotta turn, we gotta turn, we gotta turn! Ah, uh, <laughs> help! We actually want to like, oh, they're they're going in for a um. Guys, you've got less crew than us. You've got less crew than us. I don't think this is Blackbeard. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, but. We will get a slightly better ship. Oh yeah, we we, we can we can we can talk them. That's the most important thing. I think genuinely that even that has like um a bonus with the Oh a lucky mate. 
I think it helps your uh, your bar. So like if you have if they completely run out of um, crewmates at the bottom, you saw that bottom bar. Uh, oh sweet. Yeah, if, if they completely run out of that, and then you get the next hit on them, you win by default, even if you don't push them all the way back in that little mini game. Uh, it's fake black beard, yeah. Uh, dark grey beard. Ginger moustache, yeah, that's good. Oh, bloody hell. What a, what a jip. But at least we've got a, a skilled cooper. Uh, Goes up food in sturdy barrels. Lovely old job. Welcome aboard, lads. Keeping the ship, of course. Uh, taking everything. So that is a brig. I think we may have to just double check. Right, 150 max is 100 max. So that's really good. And it's only slightly damaged. So we could change that to our flagship. Queen Ant's Revenge. No, no, it's Queen Ant's Revenge. Uh, okay. Well, we're going to take this. And we're going to call it... Um, Hang on. All right. Queen Babs. Apparently, we can't do uh, any any special things. Um, hmm. Queen Babs, forgive. There you go. Nice. We good. We good. Man. Man, okay, what's that? Ooh, careful. Dutch smuggler. Crusty jugglers. Uh, let's just check our map here. Where do we want to go? Because Curacao, I can't believe I took it. That's our, that was our one friendly stronghold, and now we're in a real pickle. Queen Boppis. <laughs> An excellent haul. We might not be in uh, in their bad books in the spanish's bad books enough to be like unwelcome at port so far so if we if we hurry up if we beat the pirate raiders to there they're 11 days out oh no they're gonna they, oh are they gonna do it are they gonna do it ah it's now a modest spanish stronghold okay so that dictates how strong they are if you can attack cities because you can attack cities actually physically attack them, unlike bloody Skull and Bones where you're just chilling outside for a bit. Oh, uh, yes please, we'll take your money. Oh, it's a long ranger. It's a long ranger, I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh, bloody hell. All right. Are we on target with that bad boy? Yes, good, good hits, a fine hit. Let's go to Japan instead. Oh. Yeah, you want to go, pal? Bam. So I think with higher difficulties, this obviously gets a lot harder. Um, I don't know why I'm like, I'm sort of doing this, crossing over, it's sort of awkward. I'll keep the uh, thing there. <laughs> I don't want to do that, just take all, mate. Right, we've got a fine haul. What's that? Is that another is that another treasure one? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Actually, we should probably not attack too many, because we need to go to port somewhere. Uh-oh. That guy's gonna sail into that. Um yeah, another thing, another example of like all the little features and stuff. These clouds, if you sail along with them, you get a little speed boost. Yeah. There's so many... Ah, uh, modest Spanish port. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think they're attacking us. Oh. I, I swear they were firing their shots at us, but whatever. Sugar is often plentiful here. Okay. <coughs> uh, is he going to be mad? They're at war with everybody. I love it. I love it. Uh, wow. A long distance to the northeast, fair enough. Cheers, mate. So we got a letter of mark from them as well. Not sure we really want that, but whatever. Uh, first of all, oh, man, the spices. I would have sold for an absolute bucket ton. Got a lot of goods. Sugar is not a great selling price, but I want to get rid of some of these goods. Uh, probably, mm, 
They don't even buy the cans for anything. Actually, wait. Let's keep all the cans. We don't need 20, we don't need two years worth of food because we will get more as we go. And actually, we get more money for that than anything else. Okay, cool. We're going to take Krakow back. <laughs> we could do. We could do. Right then. Queen Babs will give. And Chain Shop. Good. We, we could do with some of that. Um, Don Fernando. Get out of here. Um, revenge. Wait. Didn't we name out someone else? Excuse me. That was our original one. I mean... Screw it. We don't need that. And um, we don't need this. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on, hang on. I think we need to ditch more stuff in order to do that. Basin uh, holds 60 tons. Okay. We are right at the cusp if we do that. Wait, are we? Are we, are we not? Oh, well, I'm confused then. Um. Okay. Hmm. Right, don't matter. Don't matter, mate. Welcome aboard, lads. Steve Bonnet. <coughs> the fifth most notorious pirate in the Caribbean sounds like the pirate haven Lost Harbour in the city of Trinidad. Known to carry over 4,200 gold doubloons. That's a lot. That's a lot. I'm not going to lie. He's not even that far away. Should we try and uh, beat up Steve Bonnet? Done, Empire. Oh, here we go. The world pass. Um, sure. So, like, as the game goes on, you kind of like, yeah, you, know, you divvy it up between um, having enough money to purchase upgrades and stuff, and then while still having enough to, uh, you know, keep crewmates happy. Because if you're not plundering uh, a decent enough mate uh, rate, <laughs> mate, um, if you're not plundering enough and quick enough. They start getting mad sooner, um, but eventually they're gonna want to like just park up, divvy up the, uh, divvy up the money, divvy up the booty. Best place to sell sugar you're hauling is a large box of Cartagena. Cartagena. Good. Thank you very much. That's very useful information. Thanks, mate. All right, I guess we're going uh, to Cartagena. Where is Cartagena? It's miles away. And in a bad direction where there's only Spaniards. Bugger it all. Um, what we could do, I kind of want to like, uh, depends how much. You know what? Should we try and take Krakow back for the, for the douche? For the douche? No, wait, that's wrong. But yeah, anyway. Um, so you, you eventually have to like go to port and then sort of divvy up the riches and then chill out for a few months and um, yeah and that, that I think goes to your final score at the end of the game. So it's, it is kind of like, the more I think about it, it is kind of like a, a prototype roguelike except it's, you know, it's a longer game. Um, <coughs> I mean it's, it's not roguelike really, it's, you know, the, the tendency to to add these sort of labels to for oh guys hi hello a treasure galleon yeah you want to go pal boom 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 oh you got a lot of crew oh man we're sailing into the wind we're kind of screwed uh oh reeling in the sails avoid any damage there that's good okay right Okay, Let's see if we can... Oh no, not quite. Not quite enough. We can outmaneuver them though, which is pretty good. And even more so if we wreck their sails. If it is a ship, is it knots or miles away? Actually, yeah, it's probably knots, to be honest. Hey, pissed off, how's it going? Oh, he's got a notification now. Don't worry, we, we started much later because of um, stupid cyberpunk issues. It's really annoying, actually. But hey. <coughs> um... Hopefully we'll be back to that next week, I'm sure, but uh, we'll just carry on playing pirates until the dawn of time, uh, the end of time. Sorry, what? Yeah? 
Yeah, you wanna... Oh, yes. I love how simple but effective this sort of combat is. Because, like, when you're on higher difficulty, obviously, they, they go a lot quicker. And, um... <clears throat> and it does become quite challenging, actually. But it's like, you know... Because what you could do is you can, like, bait out a... Oh, I tried to do it there. You could, like, go for a top swing and then quickly press the button to sort of change it. So there's a little bit more nuance to it than you think. Man, I, I love this game. I love this game. So. <coughs> okay. We got, for, uh, frankly, absurd amount of food. Look at that. Okay, well, we'll take it. And then um, let's see about how much... How much? 87, we've got 150 max crew there. Yeah, we could keep getting a lot more crew. And then we should... <coughs> Skull and Bones should have just been a remake of this. They could never hope to, like, match the beauty of this game. Uh, still more in-depth than Dull and Crossbones. <laughs> ah, amazing. Dull and, um, bones. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, that was a, that was a rough one, actually, to be fair. Uh, okay. Come on. Turn into that. Do not show your full bow. No, see the barrels. The barrels that went off. Actually, I forgot about that entirely. Oh, no, we're going to get mullers here. We need to be careful about this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, help, 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 help. Run away, run away. Ouch. Oh, boy. Out of round shot range. So I think we can pick up our barrels again if we're, if we're getting closer. Yep, you hear that? That's the sound of us picking up barrels. Oh, mate. Can you please? Can you please not? We may have bitten off more than we can chew here. Oh, we are looking worse for wear. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Come on. See, the, the battles actually go along into the night, if you're not careful. Should we just sink the bastard? I think we've sunk the bastard. Oh, well. I used to love this game, and I still do, but I used to do. <laughs> good. Good outside of Brad. See, look at all that. Look at all that hole. I, I don't know if we get some of that or not. Uh, hey, I did. Man, that Cyberpunk update must have really downgraded the game. How dare you? It's upgraded it. This is an upgrade, sir. <coughs> okay. What's the ding ding noise? Oh, I think that's passing on to the next month. Okay. Transporting a new governor. No! The town flourishes, yeah, but. Okay. It's a Spanish town for now, right? So it's obviously it's obviously flourishing. For 12, 12 things a piece, screw it, we're gonna sell all of that. Uh oh. Uh yeah, we'll just do do that. That's quicker. Loads of luxuries. Oh, they've ran out of gold to sell us things. Alright. Oh my god, look, we were absolutely bad in that last one. Right, repair. Um, bronze cannon. Fire more accurately. Hell yeah, we'll do that. Then we can sell this one. And we'll need to dispose of cargo. So we might as well repair that, maybe? Actually, no. No, will be fine. Titanic beta version is really coming together there. <laughs> oh dear. Right, more men. Hey guys, uh, guess what you're going to do? We, you're going to come out of this town, and then we're going to turn right around and march on this town as a military operation. Ooh, information from your recent visit to Gibraltar. Cool. Okay. Okay. Um, not the Gibraltar I know of, but fair enough. We'll take it. I picked up a, just picked up a game called Decimate Drive. Seems to be the game version of Christine or that. Future Armor episode called the Honkening. <laughs> um, you might have to specify further, Tetsu. I'm not too sure what either of those are, um, but interesting. Yeah, the, the Honkening. 
I feel like I should know that. I mean, I've watched a lot of Futurama. I just don't remember the episode name. A motley collection of Caracciolo's finest. <coughs> Steve Bonnet has a lightning quick high chop dueling skill. Oh, we'll see about that, mate. We'll bloody see about that before the day's over. <coughs> what we're going to do is leave, turn around, and Leroy Jenkins is a motherfucker. <laughs> this, this, <coughs> this mother flipper. Yes. Murder Herbie. No. Should probably Maracaibo. Copper plating. That sounds good. We need all of the upgrades we can get. Um, so, let's see if we can show you the. Uh... Wait, oh, does he? Sure, all right. Yeah. You captured the pirate brig. Cool. It was also coming to my attention. You captured a Spanish treasure galleon. Such offences will not go unpunished. However, I'm going to promote you to rank of captain. What are you talking about? I can't believe we've got a rank of captain with the Spanish ahead of the Dutch when all we've been doing is attacking the Spaniards. Insane. Insane behaviour. <coughs> oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A f the film about the possessed car. Are you talking about Pacific Drive? Rather than Decimate Drive. Because that game looks very interesting. I will say that. Um, right. I... I get you now, if that's what you mean, but there might also be another game called Decimate Drive, I don't know. Pacific Drive looks pretty damn cool, I'm not going to lie. Um, oh, 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 hello, I, oh, the governor's rather plain daughter, oh no. Well, I, I am sure you are very beautiful, my dear, but the, the, the game description says rather plain, so we're going to be a hasty retreat, all right? We, we ain't after that. <laughs> Atlantic Drive. Specific Drive. I think you mean Specific Drive. Yes. Um, thank you for making me a captain. This town will now be a Danish port, just so you know. <laughs> Damn straight. Damn straight. Well, look. We are not one for judging in most circumstances. However, this, this pirate is a real piece of work. You know, he's, he's only after the true beauty. He's... He's, uh, he's going to beat Hasty Retreat. Help! <laughs> <laughs> also, you're not going to be the governor's daughter for very long because we're going to install a new governor. So, yeah, take that. It really does need a remaster, remake, sequel, anything. This pirate is married to the sea. <coughs> I'm very picky about governor's daughters. Oh, sweet Jesus. Right, how do we do this? Oh! You've earned your first fame point. Yeah, it's definitely in tutorial mode, isn't it? Hoi hoi, new face. Hello there. Oh, hello there. Uh, s oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm going to butcher this name. Uh, Suchia Cage? Suchia Cage? Um, I feel like I'm probably saying something rude <laughs> potentially. Suchia Cage. Suchia Cage. Suchi Cage. Got it. First time, obviously. Oh, it's I knew that, right? Hey, how you doing? Lovely to see you. Um, we're, uh, this is not our regular scheduled programming, but Pirates is a fantastic game. Uh, sorry, Sid Meier's Pirates, I should specify. <laughs> you know, please give proper attribution. Uh, finding buried treasures, romance and governor's daughters. See? See? The game encourages it. Rescuing the lost relatives. Ah, whatever. Um, that is kind of like the main... <coughs> oh, pardon me. Um, <coughs> uh, we all enjoy, uh, we enjoy all dub, uh, I mean, triple jump content. Hey, lovely stuff, uh, Suchi Cage. Um, yeah, I got that right this time, I think. Yeah, come on, Sid, stop working on endless Civ sequels and make gobs of money and work on a sequel to this niche game now that only a handful of us love. Well said. Well said, Al Sally Brown. <coughs> oh, dearie me. So, yeah, you're meant to have, like, um... Now you meant to do all these things, but I guess the main sort of the main quest is finding your lost relatives. I don't know, whatever. I I just live the pirate life of all them. Discovering lost cities of treasure. That's a big one. That is a big one. And then defeating the evil um, Marquis de la uh, Montal bum face. Um, I killed Blackbird once. You killed a Blackbird once? Good lord, man. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
Right. You want to see something cool? <coughs> yeah, we're marching. We're marching. Hey, hey, up she raises, way, hey, up she raises, way, hey, up she raises. Oh, we're so going to do these guys in. Don't drink and drive, obviously. Unless it's specific drive. <coughs> James, you okay? Have some water. I'm okay. I'm okay. <coughs> oh, dear. See what I mean? The, the plague is still sort of persevering. It's the, um, the talking. I have not talked this much in a good couple of weeks. Number 22 of things you can't do in Skull and Bones. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, sink some ships and romance some more ships. Exactly. Ah, oh, don't drink the seawater. That's a good point. Oh my god, there's so many, so... Conflicting messages, I don't know. Drink some water. No, not that sort of water. Ah, oh, I don't know. Attack this town, but don't. We're obviously going to attack the town. So check this out. It's like a mini game of Civ. So change start location. Okay. Man, that's actually quite a choke point. I don't think you could pass through those those bits. But... Great music as well, by the way. As long as it isn't sparkling, then we're all good. Hey, hey. A lot of people hate on sparkling. Not wrong with it. It's fine. Right, so we've got regular pirates, we've got buccaneers. <coughs> Where are the buccaneers? Over the side of your bucket head. <laughs> oh god. I'm so sorry. Um, this game is $2.49 on Steam right now. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, um, yeah, I mentioned it earlier. I picked it up for like, um, I guess it must have been a slightly over a pound. It was like maybe a pound 80, but yeah, conversion rates, $2.49. Genuinely, absolute bargain. Even if you play it for like just a handful of hours, like treat it as a sort of indie game, my god, it's it's so good. But like, there's there's replay value in this. <laughs> Bollocks, this bargain is strong words. <coughs> strong words. Right, let's move forward. Now, I think if you move into there, that counts as what two movements? There we go. Okay. Uh, hold up, hold up now. Can I... Wait, what, what happens if I control? What happens if I shift? Oh, yeah. Um, so, toggle grid. Zoom. Aha! Uh, next unit. Buccaneers armed with hunting muskets. Deadly, a long-range, vulnerable, close core attack. Okay, so they're our range units. That's all good. And we can do a control and turn that way, because that is important. Uh, flanking maneuvers and whatnot. <coughs> Shift, uh, skip turn there. You move up. Uh, honestly, because, like, what, what, what are they going to do? Can they even cross over this bit? I don't think they can, so they're going to have to march all the way around there. Uh, so this bit is sort of, like, randomised each time, I think, this, this grid system. Which is fair enough. Skip turn. Uh, oh, the Buccaneers can go up there, okay. Well, in that case, no! That's fine. According to Steam, I last played this in June 2017. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, that's actually sooner than... <coughs> or more recent, I should say, than... Uh, I would have expected. Like, I don't think I played this that recently. But also, why is time? That's a good point. Oh my god, that's almost seven years ago. I'm sorry, guys. So can we just have a break in our regular programming to have um, an existential crisis for anyone that's of a certain age? Because 2017 is seven years ago. Seven years ago? Are you kidding? Time is kicking our butts. <laughs> I also have frustration with time. Time is my mortal enemy, honestly. Both on, uh, you know... Oh, can these guys climb over these? Because it looks like that's what they're trying to do. <coughs> maybe they can. Or maybe they're just ranged units. That is an enemy unit. Yeah, I know that. We should cancel time. Yeah. I, I, um, 
Oh, it's struggling to like scroll that way, okay. Yeah, I, I second that. Council time. But also because like time is never on my side. I feel like even when I'm early, I'm somehow late. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare situation. <clears throat> right, we're gonna go over here. And we're gonna fire against that person. <coughs> oh boy, they don't even have armor by the looks of it. We need to stop passage of time until we just figure out what's going on. Yeah. Can you can we just press pause and be like What's going on? What's going on? Oh no, outside of Brad. Wait, 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 wait. Is that true? Only downside this does not play on Steam Deck. I was going down to the Caribbean this fall. Would have been fun to play this while there. Oh my god. That would have been perfect. That's such a shame. There might be like um a workaround there because you know people can can download stuff fairly easily to Steam Decks, can't they? Like people have turned it into uh emulation machines, haven't they? <coughs> old game do be old. What a shame though, what a shame. I am indeed <laughs> dying on stream. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna move you there. Oh my god, what is it? Is it shift? Next unit. Uh, the only problem with this setup, this used to be one of my favourite uh, parts of this game. Because it's very much like City of Fantasy. Uh, so we're going to protect you there. But, uh, oh, you've got a, a range of 1, 2, 3, 4. Jesus, mate. <coughs> but yeah, it is, it is definitely um, clunky. Okay, right, you move up there and attack them. James isn't allowed to die until he finishes Civ 6. <laughs> what, 100%s here? Like, the, the, the game as a whole. Because, <laughs> oh no, oh no. Um, well, we might be able to hide in trees. There we go. Um, you can go up there. <coughs> Next unit. Um, send a view to that one. Right, we can take a pot shot of you now. Perfect. Hey, Mr. Black, how's it going? <coughs> <coughs> oh, God, I am getting really bad, aren't I? Jesus. Mm. 106% Civ 5, Civ 6 run. Good Lord, though. Right, we're going to skip turn that. <coughs> going to move you up. Oh, we're going to, yeah, fire against them because they can cause the most damage to us, I think. Ha, 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 ha. It's because you were meant to be finished 15 minutes ago. What? Oh, God, it is as well. Uh-oh. <laughs> ruh, ruh. Hear that? That's me trying to move forward onto those rocks. I don't think we could go there. I feel we're just going to move back. There we go. Um, skip turn. No, my officers! You bastards. Oh, this actually works out really well for them because they've got a lot of range units. So that choke point works out better for them. Jimmy's voice is already in weekend mode. He would have been done 30 minutes ago normally. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That is it, isn't it? Whoa! You beat up my, my dudes. Come on, man. Arr, ha, ha. <coughs> that is banner of order. But look at this. See, flanking attack times two and height plus one. See, there's, there's a lot of uh, strategy in this one. So, uh, let's see. We can go, well, we can fire on you and hopefully get, oh no, no, that's the wrong people. God damn it. Um, we wanna go here. Or maybe it's because, maybe it's because we, we've got like, um, we're on a hill, so we've got height advantage, so we can shoot further. Do you think your condition might be linked to mold in that room after the flooding event? Oh god, I hope not. <coughs> it's, um, no, I had the plague last week. It was bad. Um, strategy in a Sid Meier game, you're joking. You're joking, man. Um, yes, uh, it was... I doubt it, because it was only, like, for, uh, for a little bit of time. It wasn't, like, the flooding didn't last ages, but it might be a bit mold in there. I, I don't know. It's definitely worth looking into. It's a good point to bring it up, actually. Get him! Damage. 
Lovely. Didn't seem to do anything though, did it? All right, we're gonna move up our officers, which is quite scary business. Uh, these guys, I think you go here, right? I'm gonna attack them. <coughs> oh, they're so almost dead. And these guys should just, ha ha, they ran off, good. I'm not usually someone that makes good points. Don't, <coughs> I, I disagree with that, sir. Don't you uh, discount your, your point making skills. All right, you can go there and you can go there. I think we're good, we're good. This Fire Emblem looks different. Yeah, it's very Fire Emblem-esque actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Oh, our officers are looking pretty not okay. A wavering look. Uh oh. But I'll tell you what we can do. We can go here and then get a flanking maneuver on these suckers. Ha ha ha. Look at that. Four times two plus one plus one. <coughs> Good lord. A stopped clock is right twice a day. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're right more than twice a day. Several times a day, I would argue. Lord Loner, you, you've got this. You are smart. I are smart. Oh, we can fire on somebody. Doesn't do as much damage because they're in cover. What shame. What shame. We can't switch targets. We might as well keep shooting them. Uh, you can still shoot them from there, so that's fine. SMRT. I mean, SMART. <coughs> oh, boy. I think... We march these guys up. Oh no. Oh uh, well we've we've royally screwed that. Uh, I think we run away with our officers because they're wavering. Oh please help us. We've done that. Okay. Good. James Memorial stream on Monday. <laughs> oh my friend really tickly though. <coughs> oh god, that's horrible. Mm, that's that's the state of what it was last week. Mm. Ugh. Yeah, that's really bad. I think mean, partially it might have something to do with the aircon. Because that always makes me like sniffly anyway. There's something about something about that aircon. Oh god, what did we do? I press the button. Whatever. Ugh. Ugh. That aircon is just not okay. Um I was also considering, like, uh, you know, as as uh, as harsh as it may be, I might have to leave a little bit early because I've got a I've got a a prior engagement at half seven. Um, it's a haircut, you know. It's a, a weird time to have a haircut at half seven on a Friday, but they had to rearrange it. Uh, let's move you in there. I think if we reach, I think that tile, if we reach the gates. <coughs> oh God. Apologies, everybody. It really is quite bad. Right then. Um, who can we attack there? Let's just get those guys up there. Heck up, don't want those. <laughs> hey, yes, 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 yes. Uh, we're going to go here and then go down. Oh no, they got morale. No. Oh, it's evens. We might lose. We might lose. <coughs> you should have softened them up first. Oh, we won. Just about. Good. Right up. What's that then? And now we can move up and kill them over here. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, it's the time. B -B -B -blaze it, my dudes, Lord. Sixteen dab. We be sailing the Oops. seven seas again. So here are some boating jokes. Why did the students go on the boat to get their scholarship? Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Do that. What do you call a slug on a ship? A snailer. Ha, <laughs> how how to make a boat feel healthy? Just give it some vitamin C. <coughs> ho ho ho. I need Why that. did the admiral decide against that, buying right? a new hat? He was worried about capsizing. <laughs> what was the name of the optometrist who came on the boat? A sea captain. 
Dead Eye Phoenix. It is, it is late because I figured they needed a good two hours to get through that mop and beard. Yeah, it's getting redonkulous again because I had to bloody reschedule it before. But amazing work. Thank you very much for the, uh, for the excellent jokes there, Lord Bravich. And for the bees, Stephen, and obviously the blips. The bees, the blips, the, the jokes and the quips and the, uh, all sorts. There are only two things in this world, I am. People who are intolerant of other people's beliefs and the Dutch. <laughs> I love that crate, it's so good. It's so good. Um, Blazit, what's the pirate, what's the pirate's favourite letter? Oh, you might think it's R, but his heart belongs to the sea. <laughs> <coughs> 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 oh. <coughs> it's getting worse, what the hell? Oh, it's better, why am I getting worse again? I hate this. Come on, dude. I got a bit of a cough, but come on. <coughs> It's also not good if I'm going to be coughing my guts up whilst somebody's, you know, trimming my beard, whoops, you know, with a, with a, a, a sharp razor. Bad times, bad times, guys. I might have to call it early just for the sake of my own voice. Prepare the feelings now. <coughs> oh, dear. Ah. Uh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so let's talk in more hydrating. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Mm. Only, only a trim. Only a trim, right now. Sound like me just before getting diagnosed with pneumonia. Good lord. Ugh. I know you totally thought about it, but don't get an Emperor Franz Joseph of Austria beard. I heard it will not look that great. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, Franz Joseph of Austria. Are we talking the first? Well, there's a couple of um, differing reports here. One's got a, a nice mustache. The other, ho 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 ho! I went to school with a new mountaineer. Pardon me. That is a dapper gentleman. I would totally get that. Ah, oh, totally not that one. I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm totally not gonna do that. Wink, wink. Can you please? Can you? I hate technology because it always flipping goes wrong. Goddamn stream deck is a pile of crap because it keeps changing the profile which makes my buttons irrelevant to anything oh boy i'll keep my news out keep my eye on keep my news out on bbc news see if a report a new super plague is started at the team triple jump international hq tower i uh, yeah it might uh, it might happen i'm just fuming about this i'm actually like I'm fuming about my voice getting like this again, because I was fine before. Patient zero. <coughs> We've finally done it, everybody. <coughs> <coughs> Holy moly. 4,900 gold pieces. That's a lot of moolah. Sorry. Can we not install someone new? I thought you could do that. Well, fair enough. Um, are they gonna, oh, rather play and beat a hasty retreat her, lol. Krakow is Dutch again. <laughs> I've obviously missed, um, missed something with the Krakow references, but hey. You know who it's customary to blame when things go wrong on stream? I don't know, Boring Lane. Who is it? Okay. 
cool. Pretty quiet around here. The economy here stinks, yeah, because we bloody robbed the joint. Ha ha ha. That's a bit like Krakow. Krakow, that's it, lol. Hmm. Oh, I see. Oh, is it usually is it usually my fault? Is that true, boring right now? I take offence to this. This is outrageous. Not my fault. We got a a, a subpar setup. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. I mean, it's a nice setup, apart from the fact that you know the uh, the TV is old and busted and has had a line for it for as long as I remember. Um, the camera seemed to have not worked earlier. Had to restart that. PC seems to just do its own thing and blue screen all the time. But apart from that, no. Yeah, it's, it's definitely my fault, not the bloody technology. <coughs> Is it Bernie or Eagle? It's fine. It's fine. What? I'm not getting grumpy because suddenly I've got a cough again. Shut up. <laughs> oh, my days. Honestly, you... It'll be interesting to see on the VOD, like, go from the start of the stream, and then to now, the state of my voice, it really is bad. I, I don't know why. It, it must be. Oops. It must be like, um... <laughs> oh, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm just going to be coughing a lot, and that could lead to a very terrible result. With the haircut. Okay, well, what we're going to do, <coughs> you can go for like maybe five more minutes. I can't really do much else, which is a shame because I'd love to play more of this game. Military payroll, huh? Right then. Okay, fast galleon. A fast galleon. I'd like to take that ship. Hundred crew, is it? We'll see about that, sir. They're going for the board. They're going for the board. Yo! Oh, yeah, he's quick. He's quicker. He's quicker than the old, old ones. An early late weekend. Ha! Taunting! Ha ha! Uh oh. Ooh, that was close. Oh, whoa. Got him. <coughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks for joining. Bam, we'll take everything. We're keeping that ship. And we're gonna go, whoa! Yes, lovely. Sold the ship right. This is the fast galleon. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um. Oh, crap. That's a good one. Oh my god, you've got no money. Oh, it's fine. Huzzah! I love the puffy sleeves, it's good. <laughs> oh god. I don't care. Steve Bonnet, lovely, lovely. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to all these places. Um, no, I don't want to say cross. Oh, I'll just go that way. There you go. That's miles away. Oh, well, I was hoping to get Steve Bonnet by the end of the, end of the stream. San Jose. Oh, we haven't got anything that we can upgrade. Uh, so this. Hmm. Whoops, that's the same one. Just trying to like. Oh, nobody here. Florida Keys, mate. Lovely. Where's the parrot? Oh, let's see. 
Oh. Um. Okay. No, I won't protect you. No, are we transporting the governor? I didn't realise that was the quest. <coughs> okay then. Oh, it's a Florida lock then. Ho oh, ho. Okay, right. Unfortunately, we want your daughter. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to call it there, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, bam! We've whoa! Don't crash into that. No, sail away. Yeah. Oh dear. <coughs> what the bloody hell's wrong with me? Why? Why? This goddamn aircon has ruined my throat. I was fine. I mean, I was coughing a little bit, but good lord. Mm. Luckily, I've got plenty of cough medicine and all sorts. So, uh, oh Jesus, what a what an absolute state, an absolute state. But hey, thank you very much for coming along. Apologies again for the complete change of plans. Very much uh, <coughs> not what we had in mind at the start of today. But next week we'll get onto Cyberpunk and hopefully get it properly downloaded. If it decides to not just re-download itself for some flipping reason. Um, rest up, lad. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, you can have your weekend. You have been waiting more than enough time. You enjoy your weekends, everybody. <coughs> Bloody Idris Elba. What? What a liar? What a liar? Absolutely right. On that note, um, I'm going to have to call it. But you have a lovely time, everybody. Uh, thank you all for stopping by and for being patient with the stream starting later than expected. And with a different game than expected, but hey, go pick up Sid Meier's Pirates because it's dirt cheap right now, and it's so good. It's so good. Anyway, um, goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Have a lovely weekend. I'll see you next week, potentially. Goodbye. Do a weekend at Lemsip. I will do. Bye-bye. <laughs>